Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free blog post template for Divi's estate planning layout pack. This is the result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so when we first create a blog post on our website, this is what it looks like. So it's pretty basic and there's no formatting onto this. And this is why we need to use our template in order to make things look much better. All right, so um, this is what it looks like. So what we need to do next is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So basically, this is what this is going to look like. This is what's going to be our basic layout for our blog post. So you want to scroll down until you, you get to this part which says get it for free today. Enter your email address, click on download, and then download the files. So you can see here it's a zipped file. So I'm just going to go and navigate into that folder where I've downloaded my zip file because we need to unzip it. It's very important that we unzip this file. Okay, so now that I've gone to the actual folder where I downloaded it, and here it is. So the next thing I need to do is to double click on it. So you can see right here, this is where my file is. So I'm just going to drag this over here to my other screen so we can start working on our site. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to go to our Divi website. So you want to make sure that you first install the Divi theme. Okay, so next you want to scroll down all the way to the bottom here and click on Theme Builder. Okay, so here on Theme Builder to install our template, you want to click here on uh, this little... Um, icon here portability and then click on import and you know that file that we downloaded earlier which is this one here all we need to do is to drag and drop it here or we can just click here and manually try to find it next we're going to hit import theme builder template okay so we can see here our, our estate planning post template has been installed all i have to do now is to hit save next we're going to now go into our blog post and see what our posts look like now so i'm going to come over here to all posts and I can just click on any one of these. So I'm going to go with this one here, click on view. And this is now what it looks like. So our featured image has been added here. We have a beautiful background and we also have our metadata here and our title. And when I scroll down here, this is my content. So as you can see, this looks way much better than what we had initially. We also have this subscribe section here and also the recent posts. So this is looking way much better. And you can see our author here has this beautiful design behind it. So what I'm going to do next now is to show you how you can go in and customize this to uh, make it look like your own design, because chances are you have your own colors and also your own fonts. All right, so let's go ahead and customize this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my dashboard and I'm going to go all the way into the theme builder. So I'm going to scroll down click here on theme builder and we're going to now click on this little pencil icon this is now going to take us into the builder so first things first let's take a look and see what is happening here in the background so i'm going to click on this gear icon here and this is for my section settings so when i come over here to the background this is where we have our background color so i can change this color to whatever color works for me so as you can see as i'm clicking throughout here this color is changing now we also have an image here and this image is what uh, gives us this color here over to the right and this one this side here is transparent that is how we're able to show this shape here okay so now that we've uh, covered the background i'm just going to close out of here because i'm not going to change anything here next we're going to go into our categories here so this is our dynamic text which shows our categories okay now the really cool thing about this is we can actually go in and change the color of the font so now notice what happens when i click here you can see there is updating so this is what you need to do to go in and uh, update the colors of these categories you can also change a font so i can go in here change the font to Monsterat, or you can change this to whatever font you want. So that's how you do that. Next, let's take a look here at our post title. So you can see here it says post or archive title. So this will dynamically show the post title. But like we did before, you can go in and also change the font itself. So let's say you want to use uh, Monsterat. You can see there it has changed and you can also play around with the font weight. We can make it bold. We can also... Uh, 
adjust the size, make it smaller. We can also change the colors. So as you can see, the layout has been done for us. All we have to do is to go in and change a few things. Next, let's take a look at our metadata here. So I'm going to come over here and this is the post author, but this is a blurb, by the way, and we can see it here on the top. So you can actually go in and make changes to this. So let's say our icon color here needs to change. We can just change it like that. And now that's me updating my icon color. We can also make changes to the circle color. There we go. So you can see if you want to make it solid, you can do that. We also have the circle. So you can go in and change the circle to that. So as you can see, it is quite easy to go in and update. Now, finally, we have the text here. So if I click on this uh, paintbrush icon, it takes us to the text. So I can change this to whatever font we want. So let's say I want to use Poppins. I can just select it like that. And now it has been updated. And I can also update the font color. Okay, so moving on. So now these two are pretty much the same thing. You can just go in and um, change these or update these in the same way. Now there's something I forgot to mention here and that is we have our section dividers here. So you can see this line, the way it was created. I'm just going to come back over here, go to design and I'm going to go to dividers. So the dividers we are interested in here is the bottom divider. So you can see we have this style. So when I click on this drop down, we can have different styles. So this is where you can change that bottom part. So there we go. So we have different, different styles that we can work on. Anyway, I'm just going to close out of here and move on to the next section. And this is our post content. So in our post content here, this is what stylizes the actual text that goes on the blog post. So you can start here with a heading. So here we have player fair display. We can change this heading to uh, whatever font you want. So you can see here, I've changed this to Poppins and I can set this to bold. And I can also play around with the colors like that and the size. Next, we have our paragraph text. And again, you can just go in and change your paragraph text and this will update throughout the whole website. Now, moving on, we have this main area here, which has our email opt-in. So the text here can be changed easily. I mean, all our text modules are the same. So all you need to do is to click on the pen brush icon and this will take you to our heading text where you can change the font itself. So let's say you want to choose Josephine. That's, that's how it looks like. And uh, you can also change the colors, change the size and so on. Okay, so I'm not going to commit to that. And we also have this paragraph text. And again, this is a text module. The process is the same. You click here on this pen brush icon and then you can uh, change, you know, the colors. You can change the font as well. Now, while we're here, the most important thing is to set up this email opt-in. And this email opt-in is very, very important to set up because if you don't do it right, then you won't be adding this to your mailing list. So anyway, I'm going to come over here and click on module settings. So this now has taken to taken me to my email opt-in settings. So the first thing we need to do is to scroll down to email account. So you need to have a service provider. Now there's quite a few out there. We have uh, MailChimp, Emma, ConvertKit, GetResponse, Fluent CRM, and so on. So you need to have your email service provider. Now, once you've signed up for an email service provider, you also need to create a mailing list. So once you've created it, this is where you come in and click here on select list and click on add. So once it's connected, the, um, the list will be shown here. If it's not, you can just click here on fetch list and this will just refresh. And once it refreshes, then it will show your list here on the bottom. And then the next step now is to come over here to success action. So we can either set up a message here or we can set a re uh, to redirect to a custom URL after your subscriber hits the subscribe button. So there's two options there. Either they go to a thank you page or they can just see a message on here. Okay. So pretty much that is how you set this up. Now, if you want to customize this, so let's say you want to change the button color, just click here on this uh, paint brush icon and you can start by going here, you know, changing the background color. If you want to change the text color, you can just change it like that. And uh, you can also further change this. Maybe you may not want to have rounded corners there. You can just make it a solid uh, rectangle and you can also change the, the font. 
by coming over here. So you can see here, I've just updated the font and you can also play around with the font weight and size. Okay, so once that is done, let's now take a look at this particular section because it also has a background color, which we can adjust by coming over here to background. And you can see, as soon as I click that, the background color is changing. And it's always a good idea to go in and uh, change your background color here so that it matches with your color palette. Okay, so moving on, we are, in fact, you know what? I forgot to show you how we can um, adjust our divider. So if I come over here to design, click on dividers. So you can see here on the top, we have this line, which is slanting. So we can change this to whatever design we desire. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to close out of that. Now, moving on, we also have our recent posts here. So if you want to customize this, you can just click on uh, the module settings. And this is going to take us into our blog settings. So to customize this, you can actually set how many posts you want to show here. And uh, you can also choose the categories. Now over here on the design, we can go into each and every item. So here we have our image. So our image here has rounded corners. We can go in and uh, adjust our rounded corners like that. Or even if you just want to, you know, uh, adjust the border themselves. So here we have 20 pixels. If that's a bit too much, you can bring it down to about, say, 8, for example. And uh, we can also further go in and adjust our text here. So let's say I want to use poppins. I can also change the uh, color. And if I need to work on the paragraph, I can just click on that. Choose my font. I can adjust the size as well and the color. So as you can see, you can go in and quickly make changes to this template. Now, this is also a text module, which we can adjust by going into our text settings, clicking on design, and uh, you want to make sure you click on the paintbrush icon. This will take you directly to the font itself. And there we go. I've just updated that. I can also change the colors. All right. So um, finally, we have this part here where we have this author. But this also comes with a background, which can all be adjusted by coming over here to our section settings, clicking on background. And this is where we update our color. So you can see in real time, when I click on that, it's updating the background color. So as I'm always saying, uh, you need to make changes to this based on your color palette. Okay. Next, uh, we also have this author. These are all text modules. You can just go in and update the text. And then over here, we have the shape in the background, which we can adjust. So this is our image. And then if I come over here to the background, this is the image that we have. Now, if you're not a fan of that, you can just delete it by coming over here. All right, so pretty much this is how we update and uh, make changes to our blog post template. Go ahead, play around with this and um, see how it works for your design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.